fixed cameras. Your successful completion of the demonstrated repair ultimately depends on the quality of your tools, the condition of your camera, and most importantly, your repair ability. From this stack of mirrors, uh, we should be able to retrieve a suitable mirror to repair a blown mirror in a rangefinder of a vintage camera. By touching the tip of a pencil to the surface of the mirror, you will be able to tell whether the donor mirror has a front or back reflective surface. In this case, we will after a front reflective surface. This mirror can be used either way, but is too thick for our application. Here is a back reflective surface and a front reflective surface. Flip it over and you can see the silver coating. And then on a front reflective surface, it has more of a look of this type. The frame mask of the mirror that we will be replacing will act as a pattern. A screw slot cutting file will be used to scribe the surface of the mirror. This close-up shot reveals how thin the file surface is on this type of file. For creating scribe marks on a tiny mirror, it is an ideal profile. Gently work the file across the surface of the mirror. Further score the scribe marks with the hardened tip of a slotted screwdriver. Gentle even pressure works. If you press too hard you will break the mirror so it's better to do more strokes with lighter pressure. Some might equate this to running your fingers down a chalkboard. Maybe to others, no worries. Either way, it needs to be done. Although it creates a wider scribe mark, a diamond impregnated file will also work. Simply use the corner of the file to cut your scribe. Moving the file back and forth as you proceed across the surface of the mirror. Again, a light even strokes work much better than applying too much pressure. Too much pressure will break the mirror. Oops, well, shoot. Still might be usable though. Continue to deepen the scribe marks again with smooth even strokes of the diamond file. Cover the mirror with a protective cloth to protect your fingers and the mirror and take a pliers and snap the edge of the mirror that is ragged and jagged off of the scribe line. Just a small quick squeeze and, and twist of the wrist was usually all that is needed. Then if you'd like to clean the edge up you can nibble away at the shards. Again be careful because as these glass shavings and shards are sharp and can get embedded into your skin. Not good. This might sound obvious but don't get so intent on creating your new mirror that you forget about these little shards laying around on your bench so that you don't get end up in your elbow. Okay now we're going to take a file, another diamond file, a flat edge file and clean up the sharp points just rub the file gently over the points until they're rounded off a bit. Again, gentle pressure, patience, and a little bit of time will prevail and you'll, and you'll clean the edge up nicely. Okay, that's all well and good, but the mirror is still way too big for our application. So we need to scribe and file and break the mirror again. Well, not break the mirror, maybe just sizing the mirror. Cover with cloth and just snap it off with the pliers like so. Okay, we're getting closer. Now we have the width, we need to get the length. One more cut for the length. Again, work the edges of the, of the mirror with a diamond edge file. Knock the corners off just a tad as they can be sharp and, and that will make it a little safer to handle. 
here again we see that uh, the surface of the mirror is front reflective. Using the rangefinder frame mask, check for proper sizing. Looks good. Now all we'll need to do is to file the notch so it fits properly in the rangefinder frame. The notch is formed with a smooth, even strokes of a diamond impregnated file that has the proper profile needed to create and match the notch of the original mirror and the mask. Some of the reflective surface of the mirror has chipped off in the creation of the size that we needed. It's all around the edge and it will not affect the operation of the mirror in the rangefinder. You might consider working on a cloth to catch the shards of glass as shown here. Now we'll place the mask over the mirror. It's a perfect fit. Thank you for watching. Inspired? Check back for new video postings.